and welcome to evening prayer. If you have your prayer book with you, you can follow along on page 139. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all the worlds. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Sing, O barren one who did not bear, burst into song and shout, you who have, you who have not been in labor. For the children of the desolate woman will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. Enlarge the side of your tent, and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back, lengthen your cords, and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left, and your descendants will possess the nations, and will settle the desolate towns. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Do not be discouraged, for you will not suffer disgrace. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and the disgrace of your widowhood will, you will remember no more. For your Maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you, like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. Like the wife of a man's youth when she is cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with great compassion I will got gather you. In overflowing wrath for a moment I hid my face from you, but with everlasting love I will have compassion on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. This is like the days of Noah to me, just as I swore that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. I'd like to take, invite you to take one minute to silently reflect on the things that you are thankful for, especially the things that you are thankful for about today. Take one minute. What are you grateful for? I'd like to invite you to take one additional minute to reflect on your day and think about the times where you experience God's presence. Where have you experienced God's presence?
And now take a minute to reflect on how you felt throughout the day. When were you happy, sad, angry? And what brought on those emotions? and ask God for God's grace and forgiveness, if necessary. Now take one additional minute to identify one thing, one thing that you would like to do or change or accomplish for tomorrow, and then ask God for God's help. Let us pray the prayer our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. <laughs>